you know I don't normally do unboxing videos or at least I don't I don't like to think that I do them I don't really think they're cool to, to spend time unboxing but being that I'm the only noker guy in the United States I can't figure out what's in here because uh, this is heavy uh, I know what I ordered but I just don't know how they've how they've got the uh, stuff labeled up let's see what we got here <laughs> Okay, well, it shows two saws here. Uh, very heavy. I wonder if they packed them pretty heavy. Ah, they did. They packed them pretty heavy. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, now, looky here. Noker cylinder. These are going to be 381 cylinders. And at least they should be 381 cylinders because that's what I ordered. Let's see. Yep, 381. So now you are going to see... Exactly. I'm glad I, I'm glad I opened this on camera. I didn't I've never opened it before today. I didn't retape it. I got accused of, oh these are even sealed. Cool. So I got accused of putting a ported saw into the 381. So here is a Noker wrapped. A Noker wrapped cylinder. Now see Doug Philbeck, known as Indiana Doug, got some of my Nokers, they were stolen. And yes, I'm gonna wear it out every time I get until I see him in court. Once we once we are in court and I get the final judgment, I could start talking something different. But until then, this channel is dedicated to exposing the fraud that is Indiana Doug. So if somebody wants to say that I somehow sealed this and I'm lying and I ported this or I cleaned it up, Doug's showing cylinders that aren't genuine noker. And he switched off camera. You can see on his video, he did a switch off camera. Why didn't he just show what he pulled out? He switched it off camera to show a bad cylinder that was not a noker. And then also he showed a counterfeit noker cylinder that was pulled out of a Neotech saw. And I'm trying to show the camera the whole time. So you can't say that I switched up a, uh, a cylinder like he did. So he fooled a bunch of the people in the chainsaw cult. Either they're fooled or they're, or they're playing along with his fraud. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to not show the the uh, cylinder. Uh, there we go. Okay. Here's the uh, stuff coming out of here. Now let's take a look at this cylinder. Let's see if... Okay, that is Mark Noker. Look at there. So I was right. Look at that Mark Noker. That's the Mark Noker. That's the original Noker right there. That's not the counterfeit Noker Doug Philbeck is showing. You understand? Doug Philbeck is a fraud. Like 100% fraud. Not like a little bit of a fraud. Like total fraud. Let's take a look at this Noker cylinder. So the factory, I can't see it very well at all. The factory showed three Noker cylinders on camera at one time. And then they showed another one for me and as you can see there's no splatter there's no uh crap to speak of it's a damn nice cylinder so noker is a damn nice product god i can't wait to get to federal court now we're not going to be talking quality we're just going to be talking about fraud so i don't i won't even need to prove quality i'll just be be able to show that he got stolen saws and i'll just be able to i mean it's going to be simple as far as testimony i don't need some expert witness but that is what a noker cylinder looks like right there a noker 381 cylinder let's look inside the ports so uh i don't know what he showed you but it wasn't a noker cylinder and he got them stolen from the guy in mississippi and there's some things i won't say about the case right this moment in time but most of it's been on my channel the serial numbers were captured on his video, but he edited them out. But I've got the original video, and I've got the uh, screenshots. He uh, likes to wear a wristwatch in all his videos. I've got his rich watch hand. His, uh, his matter of fact, I even got some secret surprises on my screenshots. I, don't, I won't give that away right now. I'll give it away later on. But look at that. Look at that. 2022D. I'll have to ask what that means. Oh, I got the story. The 660 story, my man, Mr. Noker, finally said, yes, yeah, Steve, for you and your viewers, 
since your viewers are good Americans, except for the chainsaw cult, for your viewers, we will show you the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, we'll tell you the story of the 660 development. Noker. What you think, huh? Oh, I got a phone call coming in. A uh, guy got a 5800 from me, and uh, he needs some details on it. So I guess I'll close out for now. We'll look at the rest of this in a minute. It'll be part two. Like, subscribe, share. Thumbs up. Take care. Bye-bye.